Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Yusuf Shakil and you are watching HTML tutorials. In this video, we are going to learn about HTML meta tags. So let's get started. Okay, so I have opened brackets and I will go ahead and create a new file. And I'll name this meta-tags.html and I'll write the following HTML. So we have the doc type HTML opening and closing HTML tag. Then we have the head tag and inside the head element, we have the title tag, which is set to meta tags and we have the body tag. Meta tags are generally placed inside the head and we use meta tags to provide extra information about the web page. So we can use meta tag to tell about the author of the web page, the keyword used in the web page, etc. Meta tags are empty elements. That is, they only have the opening tag and no closing tag. So inside the head, if you want to create a meta tag, we have to write only the opening meta tag. Now this meta tag can have the following attributes name content and HTTP dash equips. Now let us go ahead and create our first meta tag for keywords. So we have this opening meta tag and inside this opening meta tag will write the name attribute and this will take a value keywords and the next attribute is content and in this we'll write the keywords so let's say html tutorial now let us create another meta tag for author so we'll write meta and we'll set the attribute name to author and we'll set the content to name of the author. So I'll write my name, Yusuf Shakil. You can use your name. And now let us create another meta tag for description. So we'll write meta name and we'll set the name attribute to description and content. We'll set this to, let's say, HTML tutorial. We can also create a meta tag to tell us about the last modified date for this web page. So for that, we'll write meta and we'll set name attribute to revision and we'll set the content to last modified colon and the date so this web page was last modified on 1st Jan 2016. Now let us say we want our web page to refresh every 5 seconds. Now please note, I will not recommend you to do this in a production environment unless it is absolutely necessary because refreshing a web page every 5 seconds is sometimes annoying. So let's say we want this web page to refresh every five seconds. So for that, we will create a meta tag. And this time we are going to use the attribute HTTP dash equip and we'll set the value to refresh. And then we'll set the content attribute to five. So this meta tag tells us that this web page will be refreshed 
every five seconds. So let me go ahead and show you the live preview. Now in order to show you that this page is refreshing every five seconds, I will go ahead and create a script tag containing some JavaScript. And I'll create a variable var d and I'll instantiate the date class and now I will document write the value D. So you can see we get the date and time. And if you look at this second, it is updating every five seconds. So 22. Then after five seconds, 27. And then after five seconds, 32 and so on. All right, guys, this brings us to the end of this tutorial. I'll post the tutorial notes on my website, dyclassroom.com. The link will be in the description. And all the code that we are writing in this tutorial series, I will put them in my GitHub repository. The link will be in the description. So please check that out. And if you find this video interesting, then please give this video a like and please subscribe my channel because I make new videos every week. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. And like always, stay happy and keep smiling. Bye.